In this video, I'm gonna show you how to self-host N8N on-prem, in your lab, or on a VPS in the cloud. Now, you might already know what N8N is because you arrived here from this video to start your on-prem install. If you have no idea what N8N is, that's getting harder to say, um, welcome, I'm glad you're here. But please, pause this video right now and go watch this video. I'll wait, I'll be here, go ahead. Anyways, get your coffee ready, let's go. Welcome to the on-prem install. Now again, exposing your NAN instance to the internet is gonna give you the best time, but you don't have to do that. This can be fully local. Jump to this timestamp to install NAN. Right after that, I'll show you how to tweak your NAN instance to be super hyper local. Okay, on-prem people, before we can do anything fun, we got some prereqs. And this is where the complex part comes in because NAN, it loves to connect to things. It also loves to have things connect to it. It's all about connections, Mr. Social. The problem that comes up for us who host these things on-prem is that a lot of these things that want to connect to it are from the public internet. And this becomes a problem for us because our NAN instance is often hidden behind a firewall, protected, safe, secure, as it should be. But the public internet cannot get through to your NAN instance, which honestly you'll want to have the best time. But not all is lost, on-prem people. There's two things you can do to make this amazing. Our two prereqs. First, we'll need a domain name. It might be a subdomain like n8n.hackwell.com. This domain is something you will have to purchase, but it won't be too expensive. I'm talking like three, four, five dollars per year. And we'll need to point that domain to our NAN instance, but eh, we're still blocked by the firewall. In comes our second prereq, Cloudflare. Cloudflare has this amazing product called Cloudflare Tunnels. It is completely free. And what it enables us to do is create a super secret tunnel from our domain name from the public internet to our NAN instance and our network. This is something I use all the time and it's amazing and not too crazy to set up. So looking back at our prereqs, domain name, we'll need to buy one. It'll cost you just a little bit of money. Cloudflare account is free. The good news is that you can get both these things from one place, Cloudflare. Let's do that right now. Sign up for a Cloudflare account, again, it's free. And we'll want to either connect a domain we already own or register a new domain. I'll walk you through registering one right now. We'll try to find one. I'll say n8n is cool.com. Cool, it's available, but it's expensive. Let's do uh, n8n is cool.cc. We'll get that. Eight bucks a year. I'll register it, buy it, and done. I've got it. From here, I'll click on manage domain. And on the left hand panel, you'll see an option for zero trust. Click on that. From our zero trust menu here, we're now going to set up a Cloudflare tunnel into your network, which is kind of amazing. But so far, we've already got a domain taken care of. Let's tunnel. On the left-hand side, you'll see that we have the option for networks. Go ahead and click on that drop-down, And then you should see something for tunnels. Click on that. I already have a few for other things I'm doing. You may not have anything, that's fine. Click on create a tunnel. Select cloud flared, name your tunnel, NAN tunnel, just something fun. And now we're going to install a small piece of software from Cloudflare that will create this tunnel for us. And I've not encountered a network where this does not work. Now you do have options for where you can put this. Windows, Mac, Linux, Docker. I'm gonna install via Debian. So I'm gonna select that option and they give you all the code right here. Just copy all this and then get logged into your Linux computer or server. This is mine right here. This will actually be the machine I'm installing N8N on. But you don't have to install Cloudflare on this machine. You can actually install Cloudflare on any other Linux machine or compatible software or compatible OS in your network as long as it has access to the machine you're installing N8N on. But to keep things simple, I would install it on the same machine that you're using NAN if you've never done this before. So I already have my command copied. I'm gonna paste it right in here. It's gonna ask me for my sudo password. And once complete, get back to Cloudflare and copy this command to install it as a service so it runs all the time, even when your machine reboots. Awesome. So now I should actually see, yes, down here at the bottom, connector connected. So right now, there is a secure tunnel from Cloudflare to your network. From here in Cloudflare, we're gonna click on next and we're gonna set up our N8N connection. For subdomain, put in N8N just like this. For domain, choose your new domain. N8N is cool.cc is mine. And then down here for service, we're gonna select type, which will be HTTPS, and we'll put in the IP address of your N8N server. So for example, this is gonna be my server. The IP address is 107771. That's where I'm gonna send it, just like this. Whatever your server IP address is, put it there. And we'll do one more thing here, additional application settings. We're gonna change TLS to no TLS verify right here, turn that on. And that's all we have to worry about right now. Click on save and you're done. So right now you do have a domain name. Mine is n8n.nanscool.cc. This is configured via a Cloudflare tunnel to hit my n8n server. That part, done. But right now we don't have an n8n server. 
Let's do that. So now on-prem people and also cloud maybe, if you didn't select the easy NAN option for hosting here, we're going to install NAN on our servers. Step one, log into your server via SSH, if you haven't already done so. If you're on hosting here, you'll see your IP address right there. Just copy and paste that into your terminal and get logged in with the root user account. Now, whether you're on-prem or in the cloud, you're gonna need Docker. Let's get that installed right now. It's pretty easy. If you don't know what Docker is, <laughs> you're in for an adventure. If you wanna dive deeper, I've got a video right here. For now, I'm gonna walk you through how to install Docker on Ubuntu. I'll have a link below to the documentation. You can follow along with me right now and we'll install it using the APT repository. Step one, we're just gonna copy all of this, go to our terminal and paste it in. You will need root or sudo access to have permission for this. Once that's done, we'll go to step two, install Docker. Grab this command, paste it in, let it go to town. I'll hit yes first, quick coffee break. And that's all we gotta do. Now time for step three, we're actually going to install NAN finally using Docker. Now for this, we're gonna to refer to the official documentation from N8N. Why? Well, because a lot of what I say here might change. So always refer to their documentation. Now for us, we're gonna scroll straight down to step four, create a .env file. Actually first we'll create a directory. So mkdir, we'll call this n8n-compose. And I'm doing this side by side on-prem and in the cloud. And then we'll jump into that directory, cd nan-compose. And then we'll create our .env file. And we'll use nano for this because it is the best text editor in the world, fight me, nano, and then space dot env. And we're gonna paste this config in there straight from NAN's documentation. But we're gonna make a few modifications. First, we're gonna put in our domain name. Now, if you're using a cloud service like Hostinger, probably like, what are you talking about, Chuck? Let me show you. In Hostinger, for any VPS you might have, you're gonna have a domain name right here. Notice mine is SRV, blah, 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 hostinger.cloud. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna take that. Paste that right in here. For home lab users, we just set up our domain name through Cloudflare. And I'll put that here. Now this will be the root domain name, not the subdomain. So mine was nan is cool.cc. Now for all you paranoid people who want things fully local, you don't have a domain name yet, but we can just make up one right now. Doesn't matter what it is because it's all local. So I might do something like this. My cool website dot local. This domain name will only be accessible to me and whoever is on my network who has access to my DNS server. And yes, you will need some sort of DNS server to make this work, and we'll need to add this as a DNS entry to your DNS server. I'm gonna do that right now with my DNS server. So I'm gonna copy this, log into my DNS server, and create a new DNS entry. It's gonna be nan as the subdomain dot mycoolwebsite.local. This can be whatever you want it to be. And I'll point it to the IP address of my Docker host, which is 10.7.1, actually no, what was it? I forgot already. Oh. 10.70.7.71. I'll add my record and continue on. Then we'll scroll down to here for subdomain. For both on-prem and in the cloud, leave that as N8N, unless you have a really good reason to change it, which I don't think you do, so don't do it. Next, we'll change our time zone. I'm gonna be America forward slash Chicago. If you don't know what to put for yours, just Google it or ask ChatGPT. And then for SSL email, we're gonna add our email, whatever you wanna use for this. This will be for certificate generation and we will only really apply to the cloud users. And that's all we're gonna worry about right now. Hit Control X, Y, and enter to save. Next step, we'll create a local files directory. We're just gonna copy that command and paste. Simple enough step. And then we'll create our Docker Compose file. We're gonna copy all this config, just the way it is. Go into our terminal and type in nano docker-compose.yml. This will open our text editor. We'll paste in our config. Now notice one thing to people who are very familiar with Docker. We're actually setting up two containers. We have a container called Trafic, in a container called N8N. And some of you might be thinking, Chuck, we don't need traffic. The way we're setting this up, all we need is N8N. And I would say you're absolutely right. However, just to keep things easy and straightforward, and so we're not going too far from the official documentation, we're gonna keep it. It's not a big deal. But if you know what you're doing and you wanna remove traffic from this, that's totally fine. For everyone else, leave it as is. Hit Control X, Y, enter to save. So now we are one step away from having this sucker spun up. One command. It will be docker, space, compose, up, and then we'll do a space dash D, just like this. Ready, set, go. Coffee break while it's performing magic. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it so much. Right now it's pulling down the containers of traffic and NAN. And then it's gonna look at our configuration and spin these guys up. I'm gonna do it on the uh, on-prem side as well. And it's done. Let's verify it real quick by typing in docker space PS. And there's our container, N-A-N, and then also traffic. Let's see if it works. 
I shall go to HTTPS, colon, whack, whack, n8n dot n8n is cool dot cc. Let's see what happens. <laughs> it said my site was unsafe. Why? <laughs> well, it made it though. Why is it saying I'm dangerous? I've got an SSL and everything. You're crazy, dude. Like Microsoft Edge had no problem with me. <laughs> that's so funny. For the cloud people, that's gonna be our domain here. So we'll just paste that in, but it's gonna be the subdomain N8N. So we'll put N8N right before that. Dot. Excellent, it's up. Now at this point, you are self-hosting your very own N8N instance, and you're ready to start your first automation project. Refill that cup of coffee, jump to this video, and let's get started.